I'll pull it out your ass. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Look what you did. All right, take number two on logging, since my recording software does not want to cooperate yesterday, so we're going to try it again today. Anyways, I got Lavi here. We're in Bend. We're going to grab a load of lumber and take to somewhere, Lakeview, somewhere. Uh, I thought we were going to Newport. Yeah, that's it. We're going to Newport. We're going to one of them there places. We're going to follow the rules of the road. Uh, we just bought our own logging trailers so we are using cargo market and we're going to see how this goes and it'd be neat if we actually watched them load it but i don't think that's a thing but we're going to watch Lavi go back to dirt road first Lavi's going to lead the charge and him and his sks thinking he's all cool because i don't have that yours man you can't shove any yours to me nope i only got six Ooh, there's still a lot more bouncing than yesterday. Because we have empty trailers. I guess. Imagine like if these actually got like the seat physics of the seats, like real trucks. Dude, you guys all over the place. So sick. I have a mod for some player for that, but it's like you hit on her like this, you're bouncing all over the place. This this is my first YouTube recording with my G920. No, it's just, your second, sir. Get it right. Well, it's just... Okay, it's the second one, but the one that everybody's going to see. Uh, I already did a live stream with it, though. Lavi and I were exploring the Baltic Sea in ETS-2. We were trying to follow the rules of the road over there, but Jesus Christ, did their speed limits jump so quick. So we're gonna do this again today on ATS and go we fair. I love going off the beaten path like this for lumber. There's your Scorpion King thing over there. I you still have careful. a clip that I will show at the end of the video of what happened at this spot right here. Because Lavi was being cocky. I don't remember this, but uh, be careful because this is a fluid flighted area. Yep. Got my trailer or load. Hard to work it. Okay, where do you want me to go to get a game? I actually don't even remember the video clip you're talking about. It is. I don't remember this. <laughs> I remember somebody rear-ending me over a pile of wood. Alright, cargo market. Usually we skip this part, but because we were getting lumber, I decided to put it in the video. You, you brake-checked me and I rendered you because I didn't care. Yeah, yeah I brake-checked you because you were keeping at me for going too like... slow. Yeah, I, I shouldn't <laughs> care, so I'll let it happen. Where's yours at? Right in front of you. But I'll wait for you to get yours real quick. I do like how we're like back up like right next to the wall. I don't know why I am. I'm backing right next to the wall pile to get this. That's mine's over here on the right. You're backing into a trailer on my side. Oh, uh, well, there's nothing here for me. Actually, you backed into a double trailer. Well, double trailer should be my way. Gonna find oh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta turn our trucks off of this. How yeah, about that? Poof, so they have logs. 
Oh, you're back over there next to those logs. Hey, look, you got a guy over there to load you. Yeah, you're back into one of those little car trailers for me. Oh, I didn't notice this. This guy, this this machine right here to my right is mulching up uh, tree branches and stuff and leaves. Yeah, that's what I was looking at yesterday. It would knock trees down and then mulch them up. No, this one's a different machine. There's one right here in the middle of what we we're picking up from doing it. Plus, there's one over there knocking them down. So just trapped with my right right now. I can see it. I was gonna say, if you actually look at the logs on our trailers, you can see the X's they paint on them when they uh, mark cut them down. The ones that are on our trailers? Yeah, on my left side, I can see a green X on one, and I can see a red line on another. And those are the kind of markings they use to mark trees for cut them to be cut down. Oh yeah, I can see that. It's a pretty nice little detail they did. I like it. I like it. We're going to count how many times I stalled a day. I played Stall for a good... Already. No. <clears throat> I played for a good couple hours after everybody got off last night because I kept stalling yesterday and the day before. The only thing I don't like about the G920, which Lavi and I have discussed and we figured out a fix, I just got to do it, is uh, I got to rip apart the brake pedal and get rid of that freaking rubber piece that's in it. It's way too solid. I got to stand on the brakes just to stop the truck. That's the thing most people do with these setups is to take that thing out. I knew about it since I bought mine, but I should have been too ever late to think about the stand to do it. Yeah, mine's not. Mine still isn't on the stand yet. I found the bolts, yeah. but I didn't put it on there yet. Definitely did if we mount it down. It's better to do it then later. Uh, also, I'm having issues with the steering wheel software. So my force feedback is constantly on like whatever the highest level is. So all I have to do is unplug it from like the power supply to the wall and then I have no force feedback whatsoever. So that's with my hand off the wheel and so on and so forth. But I mean for now that's fine with me. I am talking to Logitech trying to get the problem situated. They actually just sent me another email today uh, for me to try something. But uh, they're definitely talking to me and taking my feedback into consideration. That's good. Uh, I've sent them ideas on how to fix the scenario. <laughs> so the thing that's all about their uh, support was from like a couple years ago. So it's at least nice to see that they're improving the support. Well, there's no, they haven't, they don't have any talks about releasing anything else uh g29 is for playstation so they haven't talked about uh upgrading the 920 or nothing there won't be any need i mean the g27 was around for quite a while before they came out with this yeah i heard that was around for seven years before they came out with uh for this one in the uh the uh 20 what did i say the 29 yeah the 29 it'll wash that rock about slip right into it again like last time yeah i remember Keep forgetting about this things are like push here on that corner. This is a steep ass hill. Especially on dirt. So we got upgraded trucks. If we had like low level stock trucks, I don't think we'd be getting up that hill very well. I'm kinda curious as to where the other dirt road goes. I've never been back here. I don't have that road claimed, so uh, Lavi's gonna stop me on the flipping hill. Oh yeah, I gotta test you. And um it just loops around to the gas station if we pass down the road from the gas station we went by. We just looked around by there. Okay. We are going right, right? Yeah. Just want to make sure I can hold out. Jesus. 
God, <laughs> test your, uh, your truck driving skills there, sir. Did you just run that stop sign? Negative, I California rolled it. Uh, that's still running the stop sign, <laughs> sir. <server. laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna report you to the state police. The popo didn't see it. Uh, I have recording proof. They will. They will arrest <laughs> you. Oh, you're recording too? No. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I have to let me know what you guys think of the recording I did. Uh, bump the brightness up in my recording software so that it doesn't look as dark to you guys. So you guys have to let me know if it's too much, too little. But I have seen some comments on some of my older videos, people complaining that my ATS and ETS videos are too dark. Seems naturally dark. Lavi's my convoy buddy. He's the only one that plays ATS with me. Oh shit. And I'm about to be losing him to a new job. I'm gonna be all by myself. Well, maybe not. I think the weekend part I was talking about, I'll just be on call. Or like, I, I don't know if I have to be ready to leave. So like, I, I'll have a truck home with me and I'll just be you know, do what I want to do for a set amount of time, and they call, I have to go do it, whatever they need me to do. Yeah. So the nights and weekends are, say, on call deal. So they just have the truck at home, just do whatever I want to do, so I call. Um, I don't know if I can ask you this or not. I don't know if you want my video to know, but, uh, are you going to be having a rollback? Is that what they're training you on? Or are they training I you on a winch? There is flatbeds Holy and wreckers. Holy convoy wreckers. over there. Yeah, there's flatbeds and wreckers both, so I'm not really sure yet. But I think possibly the flatbeds, the wreckers are a lot nicer than the flatbeds. Nice. So I think it'll be on the wrecker, on the, uh, the flatbed, so... Because the, the wreckers they have are, like, super nice, high-dollar ones. But I'll find out tomorrow, because I, I don't know much else what's going on inside that show up there at 8.30, so... I don't even know what I'm getting off. I just have to show up and go until it's time and it's fun. Well, you know, if you get the job, I want to see a picture of the truck. I will see. I'm sure I'll be driving the exact same one every day, probably. It's probably just where I need to be on the day. Which I'm a lot more nervous to learn the record than the flatbed. Because the record's got all the different controls for the, the wheel lift and everything else. That shit makes me a lot more nervous than just a flatbed that goes down and gets hard and drags it up. Got a red light. Got that red light special. Okay, oh, green light. Yeah, I started braking early, so I didn't have to, like, stand on the brake pedal while I'm recording. Like, there's times I literally gotta stop, and I stand on the brake pedal so hard, it actually pushes my computer chair back. That's why I was <laughs> braking early, so you start slowing early. I don't think I've been to Newport, so I should be discovering a new city out of this. I have them all... I honestly thought about going down through and doing 100% of the roads again, but I already know what's going to happen. By the time I hit 99, they're going to add shit, and then I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, that's why I don't bother. Really your, trailer, your trailer lights are not very bright unless you hit your brakes. Well, uh, here. There you go. Yeah. Now you're invisible. Who's 
in the studio, so. But I think that's just trailer lights in general. I've noticed that like trailers we get from freight market and externals are all not very bright. I personally think this shredder is one of the brighter ones of all that's out there. Uh oh, we got a steep hill sign that tells us a steep downhill slope. Jake, break on. Let's go. That's what you need in real scenario. You don't ever touch your brakes going downhill. Just put it in fifth gear and let the Jake brake hold it back. Mm -hmm. I'm in seventh flow. Got another truck, got beacons. At least he was friendly, he honked back. <laughs> yeah, my hands are full out of it. Although I kind of blinded him with my high beams. This high beams were on too, so I didn't care to turn mine off. Like a little, like I think that's a river to our left. Yeah, lake, river, or something or other. It's too small for a lake. I think it's a river. I see stuff, see stuff like that though. See a river on the road randomly. We got some little buildings. Are you speeding, sir? No. I'm Jake Bray at 55. I cannot go any faster. You are just slow. Uh, I'm at 55. You're Guys slow. bouncing between 55 and 57 trying to catch back up. You're just slow. I forget what I was doing. I did a run earlier and delivered to a scrap yard somewhere in Portland. Is there a scrap horse? Um, no, they took, uh, it was an old, it was an old water tank or something or other. Oh, I would haul one of those scrap parts out of us all the other day. I still, oh no, I did see him. It was just in freight market, not external or any of that. Although you could probably get a flatbed and haul it all the time. Maybe. I might try to find one after this, after this recording and see if I can haul one. Now we can finally speed back up. Now you caught yourself butt up. Yeah, I just had my cruise control set for 55. I know, I was set up the cruise control at 55 too, but you lost me somehow behind me. Now I'm back at 55, let's go. Got a truck up ahead. Park in the middle of the road. We're moving. We have a red light up ahead. Race on green. All right. <laughs> Up to the speed limit anyway. No. <laughs> no, I missed my second gear. Get your six speed out of here. That's your gearing difference right there. You can start with that much faster than me. <laughs> Red light. <laughs> I 
still saw a ton. <laughs> Man, you're doing that much better than me. You can still do that much faster. That was neat, though, Lavi. We have yet to do that. I'm glad we did that for the recording. That stall does not count. <laughs> well, you stalled and I missed a gear, so it's fair. Place, aren't we? Yeah, some paper factory. Page and price paper. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna make a bunch of paper with two loads of logs coming in. I don't think I've ever delivered to a place like this, so this might be new to me. At least I don't recall it regretting something with that name. So it might be new to this uh, state. I did say, I think it's new to Oregon. I know the life that they're adding new, like, place that I should go to, not just the same old stuff. Like, we have the lumber mills, and we have this, and I think this grab place is new, too. Yeah. Another thing we discussed on the previous video that mucked up was uh, the fact that we're both actually anxiously waiting for Washington to come out, because some of their log roads look awesome to drive on. Trucker's MP, it might be might be a little bit of a cluster screw, but it'll be nice nonetheless. Five mile an hour. It's 65 though. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Good deal. Did you ask me to sell our salary away from you? <laughs> that guy's probably saying 65 as well. Not to be a place that's 265 other than the interstate. Yeah, see, I'd have never thought a back, a back two lane road would have been 65, but. Did you notice that there was, like, logs just laying on the side of the road back here? Well, there's a bunch here, too. What yes, do they need us to bring these for? They have a bunch. Uh, maybe they're making the Night World's big dictionary. Where's this road at? There it is. Thirty five. Oh, yeah, look at this place. Look at this big ass factory. Right. We have delivered here before, by the way. I don't recall delivering. I've never been to Newport, so I definitely haven't delivered this one. But I don't think I ever delivered this factory. Is it yellow or gray? I've not been to this town. I just discovered the town. I've never been here. I still have like half the city not discovered yet. From the state. Okay, we are going in right here. What was that, Sir Gate? Backing right up to the door. I want to see them all of this under the door inside. Why is the gate not opening? Yeah, they're really close. It's one of those gates. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Did I really just do that? What the hell am I hitting? What are you hitting? Apparently, I didn't swing it wide enough. That's why I went really wide. This gate sucked. Oh, and I'm parking exactly where you is. Cool. 
I still want to see my loaded my loaded here. Because we're loading right at that door. I want to see how they're doing that with these locks. I just better like driving to like a crane of some sort to unload these. Yes. But... Yeah, see on my screen it took your whole trailer and disappeared and then the logs disappeared and they brought your trailer back for you. <laughs> hmm. And we did test this out uh, yesterday, I believe. We can't get the trucks rolling just by feathering the clutch. I'll pull over here and park by these trailers. Bryce, I can't even see my screen so flipping dark. It's some weird settings. I can see fine over there. It's all little parking lot. I can't see over here where I am, but it's over there. I've been trying to do this all first person, but for some reason it's too dark for me to see. Oh, shit. I did that again, Lavi. Dropped my damn trailer instead of shutting it off and hitting the damn button for them to take the load. Uh oh. One name trip. That was fun. I love doing log trips. Oh, yeah. I definitely liked it better if the delivery point was more accurate. Like, we were like going for a crane or something to unload because what we are unloading is not very accurate. Is there enough room to do a U-turn back here? Yeah, you want to turn your high beam so you can see those start back there. I'm gonna turn really sharp though to miss me and get it'll get next to me. There you go. You and your bazillion lights on that thing. I know, I love it. You like a billion lights, and I like the bare minimum. Yeah, I like all I like all the lights on mine, so it stands out in the crowd. Probably being simple, so everybody does that. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you guys leave a big fat thumbs up for take number two. Stay tuned. Right after this, we will put in some bloopers from the first recording that I can actually salvage from that video. And, yeah. If you haven't done so already and you want to, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Lavi, say goodnight. Good night. Good night.